Welcome to the Visual Storytelling Podcast. Let's discuss what causes photos to be blurry. Photos can be blurry due to various reasons. Unsteady hands or movement during the exposure can result in blurry photos. Insufficient light can lead to long exposure times, increasing the likelihood of blur. Incorrect focus settings of the camera or the camera failing to focus properly on the subject can result in blur. Fast moving subjects or the camera moving while taking a shot can cause motion blur. Too slow of a shutter speed for the given situation can lead to blur, especially when shooting fast action scenes. Low quality or dirty lenses can reduce image sharpness. Shallow depth of field may result in parts of the subject being out of focus. High ISO settings in low light can introduce noise and reduce image quality. Using a wide aperture, so a low F number, can result in a shallow depth of field, potentially causing blur. Incorrect settings, such as improper white balance or exposure compensation, can impact image quality. Environmental factors like wind or camera vibrations can lead to blur. Subjects moving during a long exposure, they can cause blur. Dust or debris on the camera sensor can result in spots or smudges on photos. Uh, lack of image stabilization in the lens or camera can lead to blur, especially in low light. Uh, not using techniques like manual focus or focus lock can result in focusing errors. Uh, overzealous post-processing or compression can reduce image quality and introduce artifacts. Lens imperfections like chromatic aberration or distortion can affect image sharpness. Uh, extended exposure times, even when using a tripod, can introduce blur due to factors like wind or vibration. In macro shots, the depth of field is often very shallow, making it easy to get parts of the subject out of focus. Uh, older cameras or smartphones may have limitations in image stabilization and sensor technology. So addressing these factors through proper technique, equipment and settings can help reduce or eliminate blur in photos. A number of the causes I've mentioned I explored uh, in more depth in episode 18, so be sure to check that episode out if you'd like to learn more. If you've enjoyed this podcast and would like to listen to more topics just like this one, then why not consider following the Visual Storytelling Podcast so as not to miss out on not only new episodes, but catch up on previous episodes you may have missed or simply wish to listen to again. It genuinely does make a difference. Until next time, be creative be inspired, be you.